at the Public Safety Building, the Salt Lake Police Department held a gun buyback event, offering gift cards to anyone who would bring in their guns. People received a $50 gift card for any firearm, but people who turned in assault rifles received a $100 gift card. Officials say this kind of event is beneficial to the public because it takes off a number of weapons from the streets. I mean, a gun in the wrong hands, one gun, one bullet can have devastating consequences to a, a family, an individual, and our community as well. It was a no questions asked event. No ID was required to turn in the guns. No final word yet on how many guns have been brought back in this program. March for Our Lives held a march today from West High School to the Utah State Capitol in Salt Lake City. The march in response to the recent shootings in Uvalde, Texas, Buffalo, New York, Tulsa, Oklahoma, demanding actions from the lawmakers. The group started after the 2018 shooting at Parkland, Florida at Stoneman Douglas High School, killing 17 students, injuring 17 more. The March for Our Lives started as a result of mass shootings that happened um, around the country in 2018. And as a result, we believe that the current safety measures put in school are not enough, and it will never be enough until we have common sense gun legislation. Still marching years later, a few thousand people came out and participated in the march today. Families, children, even politicians showed up to the event. Today, the Gun Violence Prevention Center held an event where people can bring their old unwanted firearms. The guns will then be turned into gardening tools, they say, by a company based out in Colorado. This is the first time the center has done something like this after the recent shootings in Uvalde, Buffalo and Tulsa. More events like these gun buybacks are taking place. Well, the Gun Violence Preventer, uh, Prevention Center exists to help educate people on the, the difficulties around uh, the, the dangers around firearms. This is one of many Guns to Gardens events happening nationwide, with states all over the country hosting similar buyback events as they try to reduce the number of firearms in our communities.